Every day, teachers use the Aquas board to communicate to their students, to present ideas, and to put up homework and classwork up on the board for everyone to see. Let's take a look at how you can send a PDF into Pen Software 3.0 and use Pen Software to work with your students in an everyday scenario. So if we open up our documents here and a PDF, this is a Spanish lesson, what we can do is we can send this to Pen Software. So if we tap on File and hit Print, we can send the print data to Sharp Pen Software. If I hit Print here, I can go into Pen Software and you'll see that a little notification appears on the top. It says, Data has been received. Here you'll see the PDF. It appears as an image that I can manipulate up on the screen. I can move it across with my finger. You see how responsive that is? I have a toolbar up here. I can cut, copy, duplicate, delete, rotate, or trim this page. So if we want to, we can trim a part of this page off. Let's say we wanted to trim off the very top where it says name and date in Spanish. We can say, okay, we want to cut that part off. Now it zoomed us in a little bit, but we can resize the image easily and move it up to this part of the screen. Now many of you may not have seen what I had up here and maybe now you see a little bit better. If we still have problems, what we can do is we can go into the view tool and zoom in further. So maybe now you can read a little bit more of what I have up on the screen. Oh, if I use the view tool again, I can zoom back out and move the screen accordingly. From the square menu, I have different pens that I can choose from. If I wanted to complete any of this work, I can take the pen in pen one and use it to different settings here. So I can set it to pen, brush, marker, figure pen. Let's just use a basic pen. If we were going to write the word alta here, we can write it directly here. We can select the word using a rectangular selection tool and convert it to text. This word can then be changed up on the screen. So if I select this word again, this time using this, the pointer tool, I can change its properties from here. You see here, I can change the font type, uh, font styles here. I could change the font color. Let's change it to red. All from one place. If I wanted to make a circle around something, I can use the figure pen. The figure pen recognizes shapes up on the board. So if we take the figure pen in the width of two in the color red, I can make a circle around the word alta and the shape is recognized. Now, if I wanted to show my students that part of the instructions was more important or you know something that they should look out for, I can use the marker tip in the pen settings here, in the color yellow, let's make it a width of three, and I can use this to make highlights anywhere on the document. What the marker tool does is it automatically smooths out lines. So you can draw a line under anything and it will automatically smooth lines up on the board. So if we're happy with our work, we can go into our menu here and select the save icon. From here, we can save as a PDF, save as an image, or send by touch display link. You can also go into your menu on your second page and send by email. So as you can see, Pen Software 3.0 has many functions and many ways you can integrate your everyday activities into your classroom.